So in this video, we're going to look at how to determine whether or not a function is differentiable. So um, if you remember, I've already mentioned that differentiability implies continuity, which means that you need the function to be continuous in order to be differentiable. But some functions that are continuous are not necessarily differentiable. I also mentioned that. So we're going to look at the four, I think there's four different ways in which a function could be continuous but not, not differentiable. The first, the first is a corner. So this, you might, that would be, I suppose, the negative of the absolute value of x would be that function. And you'll see the, the point that, that obviously sticks out is right here where you've got that corner. It's not differentiable, even though it's continuous. What, I mean, I've already mentioned that there's, it's just, you could draw lots of different tangent lines at that point that only touch it once, but aren't necessarily the right one. The next one is very similar. It's a cusp, something that does this. A corner is more uh, two lines going together. A cusp is more of two curves. Um, the next example would be a, a when you have a vertical tangent. So if you have some function that's doing this, and it's going straight for part of it, the derivative would be infinite, which means that if you were to sketch the derivative, you know, so... The function's always increasing, so the derivative is always positive. But as you get to that point, the function, the derivative would have to go to positive infinity, and then it would have to come back down, which would make it non-continuous, which means that that function is not differentiable. If the derivative is non-continuous, then that function, then the original function is not it's not differentiable. Excuse me. Um, and then the final example is a one that we've already talked about, which is a discontinuity. If it's discontinuous, it's not differentiable. So, I mean, sorry, uh, if you've got this function, that is not differentiable because uh, there's, you just, you can't be discontinuous and differentiable at the same time. Alright, so uh, let's get rid of that, and now um, you might have noticed that most of these functions are all piecewise functions, which means there's, it's not just one function, because obviously, you know, a sine or a cosine or an exponential is not going to make that weird cusp or anything like that. But let's say you had a piecewise function, such as, you know, y equals x squared um, for all x, for when x is less than or equal to 1, and y is equal to x when x is uh, greater than 1. So if you were to graph that function, you'd do y equals x squared up until x. So let's do that's x. So that's at the point 1, 1 because, so we'll call that y1, y2, and then those combine to make y. So y1 of 1 equals 1, and then y2 of 1 equals 1. So obviously they meet, and then the next criteria, so that implies that they're continuous because these two points are equal. At the point where there is the discontinuity, you have continuity, or the point where the, the x's are discontinuous, you still have a continuous y value. So the function is continuous. The question as to whether or not it's differentiable has to be answered by determining if the derivatives are the same. So what is the derivative of y1? Well, that's equal to 2x. Um, 2x at 1 is equal to 2. However, the derivative of y2 is equal to 1, which at w the point 1 is equal to 1. So the derivatives are not equal. That, uh, that function, the first part of it, has a slope of 2, but then the next part of it only has a slope of 1, so it continues off kind of like that. It's hard to draw, but you'll see that the points meet, but the slopes are not the same. However, if I were to change that, that y2 into 2x, and the derivative of y2 was 2, then evaluated at 1, I mean, it's independent of x, so it's still 2, and now you have a function... Let me try and do that a little bit better. That is continuous. You can see that the functions go together, and the tangent line that you would that you could draw there, which would be parallel to that green line, I suppose, would go through both of them. It, it the the differentiability of the function is continuous. If I were to draw the derivative, it would look something like 
So here the function is negative, there it's zero, and there it's positive. So if I was to draw the derivative, it looks like it would look something like this. Um, it would have to go through the x-axis at the, at the uh, origin. I suppose mine is just off of it. One more time. And then um, it's increasing, and then it levels off because you have a positive slope there. So the, the derivative is continuous because at this, that, that point, it's, even though it's a corner, it's still continuous. Now, if you were trying to take the second derivative, that would not be, uh, you couldn't take the second derivative because the first derivative is not, contin is not differentiable. It is continuous, but it's not differentiable. So you can kind of see what we were looking at in that first situation of this example. Um, so anyway, that should uh, basically summarize how differentiability and continuity can come together in calculus. So see you guys next time.